Kobuk Valley National Park. Here in a remote corner of the continent, a river runs through a broad valley surrounded by mountains. Both river and valley are called Kobuk. This is the site of Kobuk Valley National Park. Located in northwestern Alaska, the park is one of America's most secluded gems. There is almost two million acres of undisturbed wilderness. Although the Kobuk Valley lies north of the Arctic Circle, a measure of its 2,500 square miles is sanded over by dunes. Here, the temperatures are known to rise over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, an Arctic Sahara. This sea of sand is the remnant of great dunes, blown here over centuries. Today, as thousands of years ago, the caribou migrate from the surrounding mountains, moving from winter feeding grounds to summer calving grounds. Restless, tireless, they travel hundreds of miles at a stretch, pausing only to graze on tundra, for they must eat. Then driven by some inner voice, they push on. From a shelf above a river bend, the animals cross the water, Some herds number but a few thousand, others hundreds of thousands. September, beginning of the hunting season. Subsistence hunting is permitted in the park, and many of the native Eskimos who live here depend on hunting for their yearly supply of fresh meat. Hunting is a way of life in the Kobuk Valley. Although in Eskimo beliefs the caribou is sacred, these people depend on those animals for survival. The caribou must cross the river to continue their migration. Eskimos are plying the river in their boats. Once the caribou are in the water, they're vulnerable to the hunter's guns. These instinctive migrations occur but twice a year. Only then does nature offer these Eskimo hunters the chance to get the meat they need to feed their families. For every animal killed, thousands will escape. It has been this way between the caribou and the Eskimo since time immemorial. To them, what is vital is that the caribou return year after year. But the herds are not always predictable. There is an Eskimo saying, only the wind knows the way of the caribou. 